phaeton. From the very beginning, the Porsche story was electric. At first glance, this vehicle may look like a carriage, but if you take a closer look, you might want to bend down to check out the axle. You'll soon realize there's much more to the Egger Loner C2 Phaeton that meets the eye. Because what you're looking at here is the oldest surviving design by Ferdinand Porsche. This electric vehicle dates back to the century before last. Yet the idea of mobility becoming electric couldn't be more cutting edge. At the time, Ferdinand Porsche was employed as the head of the test center at the Vereinigte Elektricitäts AG, the United Electricity Corporation in Vienna. His great career in automobile manufacturing began with an inquiry from the coach building firm of Lohner. Ferdinand Porsche built the engine and the chassis. Aged 23 at the time, the young inventor refused to be intimidated by any obstacles in his path. The Phaeton, built with significant input from Porsche, had an astonishing range of 80 kilometers, almost 50 miles. But the battery weighed over half a ton and took up to a week to charge. The vehicle's speed made up for that, though. It was able to do a stunning 25 kilometers or 15 miles an hour. That fired up the sporting spirit so typical of Porsche, and a vehicle based on the Phaeton actually won a race in Berlin Salendorf. By this point, we're really not talking about carriages anymore. <laughs> 